Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Kuhn here at the State Champs studio for another episode of the State Champs High School Sports Show presented by Lawrence Technological University. Let's get this show started with some highlights. Caledonia was looking for payback Monday night as they hosted West Ottawa. The Scots put up two goals early in this game and put a third here on the board as Jocelyn Harima passes to Gracie Gortmaker. She sneaks that one past the goalie. They lead three zip. Later in the second, off a of throw in, Ainsley Gibbs settles the ball, then sends it flying just inside the post. The Panthers finally on the board now with six minutes left. Despite allowing that one goal, Cal goalie Dalvini Balchak had seven saves in this game, helping put the Scots up 3-1 to one for the win against West Ottawa. Here are the Scots after that game. We had a really big game against them um, like two weeks ago and we lost 2-1 and it was a really rough game and so this game really meant a lot for us to show that what we, what we can really do and so as we like play today and we won it just really proved like like how good we are as a team really and just like we like our mark on it. I think it's going to be helpful for going into the next few games because we're going to have that mentality of like trying to win the next few games. It feels great because even though like I think we did really good, but it's such a good feeling to come back, like you said, like the revenge tour, to be able to come back and show them that we really are this good and that we have a chance at competing in the future. We had one last game before district starts later this week between Holland Christian and West Catholic. Five minutes in, Erica Mulder connects with Haley Vanderbent, who sends it to the back of the net for the opening goal. Moments later, off of a free kick, there was absolute chaos in the box. It would hit off the crossbar, missed a header. West bats it out of the net, only for Mulder to then get the header and send it back in the goal. That makes it 2 0 Maroons. Middle of the first now, Kayla Cannon awarded a PK. Her shot goes just to the left of the goalie, barely sticking past her hands. They now lead by three. Less than five minutes to go in the first, another PK, but this time for the home team. Claire Smith gets it right past the HC goalie for the Falcons' first goal of the game. Besides that one goal, the Maroons goalie Ella Novakowski had several big saves to make sure they held on to that lead. Holland Christian wins this one 3-1, and here were the goal scorers after the game. We've been really focusing on like the games that we get to play, a team that we've tied before, lost before, and I think we've really come up strong. We played Hamilton on Monday and beat them 4-0 after we lost them the first time, and then this time, first time was a tie. So I think coming back and just proving that we can do it and having the momentum and energy and working as a team just really pays off. It sets us off on like a good confidence on a good note and just knowing that we, the teams that we've had tied to or lost to, that we can come back. And beat them. It gives us a lot of confidence going in, knowing that we've already seen these teams and had uh, good results. Um, so it makes us even more eager and more confident going into these games. I'm Chris Gorski on the west side at Grand Haven High School where the Buccaneers hosted Mona Shores with the district championship on the line. First set, Grand Haven out to a hot start. Caden Smaka on the set and Charlie Van Abema finishes with the spike as the Bucks built a big lead. Set point now, Smaka sets up Ben Degram this time for the kill as Grand Haven takes the first set. The Bucks looking to build on that momentum. Smaka finds Caden Buller for the kill as Grand Haven goes up 6-3 early in the second. Later, Shores trying to keep it close. Abe Fry sets up Victor Wu for the point, bringing the Sailors within five. But Grand Haven would pull away. Smaka finds Brendan Buntley for the kill, and the Bucks take set two, 25-16. Third set, Mona Shores up one and Fry is there for the kill to give the Sailors an 8-6 lead. Later tied up, Smaka finds Buntley for another kill as Grand Haven pulls ahead. Jump ahead to a potential match point for Grand Haven, but Jake Southland with a nice touch keeps the Sailors alive. But two plays later, Smaka finds Van Abema for the kill as Grand Haven takes the third set 25-23 and the Buccaneers hoist the district trophy. 
Let's check in now with Mark Yule, the executive director of the MHSAA for this week's MHSAA Minute. Spring is in the air, and as the school year draws to a close, the finish line for this year's athletic calendar is now in sight. Championships will take place over three weekends in June. UP Boys Tennis Finals are on May 31 and June 1st, with the Lower Peninsula Girls Tennis Finals taking place on June 2nd and 3rd. And both Upper and Lower Peninsula Track and Field Finals are set for one of the biggest days of the year, that's Saturday, June 3. The following weekend, we'll see champions crown boys golf, both boys and girls lacrosse. West Michigan is the home this year as the boys finals are at East Grand Rapids and the girls are at Rockford High School, both on Saturday, June 10. And then we wrap things up on the campus of Michigan State University with the girls soccer finals and baseball and softball semifinals and finals on June 15, 16, and 17. Tickets can be purchased for all of these events by going to gofan.co. And if you can't be there in person, many games and events will be streamed live on the NFHS network. We're hoping for great weather from here on out. With the finish line in sight, a special shout out to all of our seniors, most of whom will be putting on that school uniform for the last time over the next couple weeks. For more information, visit us at our website. That's MHSAA.com. Lacrosse fans know State Champs Faceoff is your source for lacrosse highlights and more. Hosted by Sean Belisian and Greg Durham. The show premieres now on Thursdays and you can watch it on our website, StateChampsNetwork.com or on the State Champs Michigan Facebook and YouTube channel. Well, spring has sprung here in Michigan, but before you know it, it's going to be football season. The Michigan High School Football Coaches Association, along with the MHSAA, are hosting 2023 evaluation camps for football players all across the state of Michigan. Come along with us to the one in Brighton this week. This is one of four days of spring evaluation camps that we're running throughout the state. This coincides with the uh, spring recruiting window for the NCAA, and it's an opportunity for kids uh, to be evaluated by college coaches in, in a safe manner during the school day that doesn't impact spring sports. Uh, this is a new initiative, and so we're excited to, uh, to kick this off. Hey, good. I really liked it and I was I was hoping that it was it was gonna bring a lot of coaches and it has. I've been able to talk to a lot of coaches, it's been nice. It's awesome that all these coaches can come here. It makes opportunities seem almost endless. It's an awesome opportunity. Uh, very exciting to get out here, compete against kids from all over the state, good kids from all over the state, get some really good reps. Well, I think the opportunity uh, to give the kids an opportunity to work with in, in front of college coaches was big for the association and they were able to organize it and we got information this spring about this opportunity and the, the kids and the coaches that I've talked to were all excited about having that, that chance to, to do football related activities in front of the college guys. Fellas, we're all super excited to have this event here. Most importantly, the help and guidance of the MHSA in this? Well, I think people are just grateful for the opportunity to be in front of coaches. You know, I think people are grateful for the MHSA for putting this event together. Uh, all the host sites, you know, it's an opportunity for people to walk across their campus and there's an opportunity for them to meet other coaches and players as well. I mean, it's just an another extension of the football season that makes us all just feel a little bit more giddy about that big start. I'm very excited. Right now I'm in track, but I can't wait to be back out on the field. Super excited. It's, it's going to be a blast this year. Words can't explain, words can't explain. Football's my love and I, I just can't wait, just can't wait. Sweet. One, two, three, one. 
Swing Away is our softball show that is dedicated to covering softball. Hosted by Kara Lyles and Mackenzie Long. Updates in the Softball Player of the Year race presented by Turn It 2 and more. Swing Away drops every Friday on our State Champs W social media channels. Our nursing program is great. We have small class sizes, which makes it really easy for us to ask questions and get more thorough information. And we really have a tight knit community here at the nursing program. Simulation days are extremely important because it gives us the ability to practice our skills without the added pressure of being in the hospital and be able to talk through some of the procedures that we might find a little bit more difficult um, with the help of our professors. You know, we're getting to that bulk of the nursing school where, you know, we're really just trying to retain our information and it's just repetition. So getting better at, you know, hanging IV bags or listening to lung sounds or, you know, assessing, you know, pressure ulcers. So it's really just taking everything that we've learned our past three years and just bringing them all together full circle. Our nursing program here at L2 is really special because personally it feels that all of our faculty are like personally invested in all of our success. We're a very tight-knit community here and we're all um, supporting each other and helping each other reach success together. That's all for this week of the State Champs High School Sports Show. Make sure you guys follow us on all of our social media platforms and we'll see you again next week. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Be curious, make magic visit ltu.edu. State Champs is also brought to you by the Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud sponsor of the MHSAA. The Detroit Athletic Club Foundation Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards, who will be this year's award winners. Find out live June 5th, only on the State Champs Sports Network.